My name is Professor Ahmed Al Shama. I am the Executive Dean of Faculty of Engineering and Technology. In our faculty, we feel very proud to have a state-of-the-art facilities is here, and we are one of the old nautical institutions in the country, established 1892. In a great city like Liverpool, we've been nautical city, so we feel proud about our heritage. Hence the experience and the expertise and from teaching excellence at undergraduate, master and PhD really pass on to the, to the student. So far all the graduates have a 100% employability record. The first nautical college in England was founded in Liverpool uh, in 1892. The university's uh, maritime courses have grown out of that uh, first nautical college. Uh, today we offer both engineering courses, uh, maritime management courses and courses in nautical science and also courses now in logistics, transport and ports and port management. Liverpool is one of the largest clusters of maritime and marine businesses outside London. As recent studies have shown that we have over 1300 businesses engaged in marine and maritime sector. Uh, these employ 22,000 employees and generate over 12% of the region's GDP, which is roughly about three and a half billion pounds. Multi Maritime and LGM, you've worked together for many years. Um, we've worked with the university on a number of projects in the past, but in recent years we began to look at how that collaboration could lead to something for the benefit of the sector as a whole and what's come out of that is the Maritime Knowledge Hub. We already have phase one of the Knowledge Hub, which opened in March 2016. We have a range of rooms here, including large conference rooms, smaller meeting rooms, and boardrooms that our members can use to hold their own events, and that we can use to bring them together for meetings that we run on their behalf. We have a space to incubate small businesses and allow them to grow, and we have a range of simulators that provide education and training courses. So it's not just the industrial training, it's going to be the scientific training as well to bring in the science, technology, innovation, all in one, via the hub, transferred successfully, hopefully, to industry, to make in the industry at Liverpool is the place to be. Having all these facilities, having all the knowledge, the conference facilities, as well as the state-of-the-art simulators, all in one place, that will be a truly encouraging and most importantly is transferring the knowledge and advanced skill to industry, make them having this competitive edge, not nationally but internationally.